Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Paul, this is It's a Camping Thing. And as you can see behind me, there is no tent. Yes, um, I'm actually on a family holiday. I brought my parents along to the Lake District. It's actually my dad's birthday today. He's 81 years old. Happy birthday to him. And yeah, there's no tents in this video. So um, thanks for watching and uh, see you later. Actually, <laughs> forget all that. No, because I'm here at a lodge. I'm actually at a place called Windermere in the Lake District. And it's just a week long trip. Um, the reason why there's no tent is because my parents are are getting on in years. Um, and for them, camping is something of the past, shall we say. So um, we're in the lodge instead to make life a little bit more comfortable for them. And I'm, I'm someone who knows the Lake District very, very well, having been here so many, many, many times, including last month when I was here for my birthday. I had a fantastic time when I was out wild camping. But yes, there is no tents. However, there is camping equipment because I'm gonna show you today some products that I like to use when I come to places like this, uh, when I'm going on a long trip. Um, products that are probably camping related and you may have seen it on this channel before. And the first product is just here. It's my Trekology Easy Go Folding Camping Chair. Now, why have I brought that when, as you can see, there's plenty of chairs here already. The fact of the matter is, um, we didn't know what to expect when we got here. We didn't know how many chairs there was, and actually there's an abundance of chairs, so I brought my own. This Easy Go Folding Camping Chair from Trekology is awesome. It packs down into literally almost the size of a loaf of bread, but actually smaller than a loaf of bread. It's light compact, and if you want to stop away on the journey anywhere and maybe want to sit down, then you've got the option to do so, although you usually also use a car seat. But also when you're out and about, maybe you're going for a long walk and maybe you just want to sit down somewhere a bit more comfortable than sitting on the grass, for instance then the Trekology Easy Go Folding Camping Chair is fantastic for that. You literally just open it up, sit down, take a bit of a breather, take your weight off your feet for a little while. And it's awesome. I, I love this chair. It, it's one of my best camping products I've ever purchased. And the reason why I bring my chair is because on most holiday parks, you get something like this, a bench, which is all great and good, but it's not exactly comfortable. Many holiday parks we've been to, they've got a bench identical to this and they do serve a purpose you've got your table area you've got a seating area if you're going to sit down here with a cup of coffee maybe you want to rest your cup of coffee maybe you want to uh, have a meal out here then it's great it serves a purpose however it's not very comfortable um i don't want to be sitting here for too long if i have to and if i want to see the view behind me Then I've got this table area sort of digging into my mat, which is not exactly comfortable. I feel like I'm waiting for the principal or the head teacher to uh, take me into the office and tell me off. It's uh, when I sort of sit upright and yeah, not exactly comfortable. So if I had a choice between something like a wooden bench like this, which has its uses, let's be honest, but if I had a cho choice for comfort of this wooden bench and the easy go folding camping chair, which literally folds up in smaller than a loaf of bread, I know which one I'd pick. I can just sit here, watch the world go by, lean back into my chair and enjoy my cup of coffee. And for that, that's my reason why I bring the easy go folding camping chair to my holidays. <sighs> Cheers, everyone. And for my second camping related product that I like to bring to a non-camping place is a pillow. As I said in the previous videos, the fact that I like a lot of pillows. Right now, I've got a little bit of hay fever. It's a bit like having a cold. And I sleep on my side. I like my head propped up quite a lot. And I've actually got two products for this. I did bring a lot. So this one is my Decathlon Cachoir Foam Pillow, which I love. This one, when it's opened up, measures 45 centimeters by 35 centimeters by 13 centimeters deep. This one's not opened up, because I brought two. These are incredibly comfortable. Now, why did I bring these? I can hear you cry. You're gonna have pillows on your bed, surely? Yes, but do you ever get to a hotel and then they supply you with like one wafer thin pillow? and then you end up folding over and then maybe using some bath towels to prop that up even further. 
I, I just bring one of these. They're incredibly comfortable. I love them. I have a really good night's sleep on one of these. So yes, that is the Decathlon Keshwa foam mousse, mousse pillow. Love that. But if that isn't enough, and bear in mind there's three people here and we all have similar tastes. I brought my mom, my dad and myself and then we've got Buster the dog, but Buster doesn't take too kind to pillows. In here, believe it or not, is three pillows. Three. Yes, the Trekology Aluf 2.0 pillows. I've got one there and I've got another one there and I've got another one there. Now again, like the same situation with the chairs. Um, we have an abundance of pillows, so much so I don't actually, I actually have too many pillows. Um, Park Dean, which is the place that we're staying at, uh, White Cross Bay, uh, we came in and to honest, we've got an abundance of chairs, so many pillows, it's, it's unreal. But again, there's nothing worse than coming on a trip and finding the fact that you are uncomfortable. And I would rather pack something like this and have a good night's sleep, and then get here and then realize the fact that, oh dear, I've got to use the bath towels again. We've all done it. I mean, if you're flying away somewhere and you've got a suitcase, pack a couple of these in. A couple of tre uh, Trekology Aleph 2.0 pillows. You know, they blow up to a normal size pillow. They are incredibly comfortable. I, I, I can't rate these enough. I mean, the, the Keshwa foam pillows are great. They're very comfortable, but let's face it, that's quite a big pack size. This takes up nothing. And again, uh, for a road trip, for a, coming to a place like this, it's just nice to know the fact that you know that you're gonna get a good night's sleep because you've brought the, the pillows. Um, they are so tight. There we go. So this is the, the pillow. You've seen them on this channel before. But there we go. But again, as I say, on this instance, got plenty of them. But I'm glad I brought them anyway. And my next item, which is camping related, but I brought to a non-campsite, is the Jetbore Zip. Now, why did I bring that? I'm sure I've got a kettle, surely I can use that. Well, the fact of the matter is, it was a 200 mile drive journey to get here. We came all the way through from Leicestershire to the Lake District. It took about four hours. And when we got here, we pulled into a lay-by and we thought, you know what, we could really do with a cup of coffee. It had been a long night. It was five o'clock in the morning. So what we did is we pulled into a lay-by, got out the jet bore zip, filled it full of water. Now, you're not going to get a lot of water in here. So three people, we had to fill it three times. And yeah, this proved brilliantly. So we were in this lay-by. It was just full of trees, like, and we were near Ashness Jetty. If you know the area, you know where I mean but it's just literally a short walk from Ashness Jetty. And we just sat there, parked the car, lit the jet bull zip, and sat there, had a cup of coffee, and we had a little robin that kept coming up and saying hello. So that's my, my next product that I absolutely recommend for trips like this. Now it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna have to be really, really quick. So obviously you've got the jet bull zip. Um, you need a cup. Obviously the seat's on X, X mug. So this is a Sea Summit X mug, again, folds out open like that. I think it's gonna absolutely pour down with rain. So that's the X mug. And because again, three of us, we've got the, the X cup. And we've got another X cup there as well. These are fantastic products. I love, love these. So there we go. There's a few items that I highly recommend. If you come into a place like this, maybe some have more usefulness than others, um, but I like to be assured the fact that when I get to a location, the fact that I'm not going to be uncomfortable um, and I've got the chair and everything with me. So it's going to pour a rain now. I can actually see rain spots on here. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Um, sorry, this had to be a brief one, but it's been sunny all day. I've got sunburn and everything, and now it's starting to pour a rain. So again, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye for now. I'm going to have to get cleared away. Oh, dear. Come on, Buster, it's raining. Rain mac and umbrella. That's another item.
Okay, folks, uh, it's pouring down with rain and all the chairs out there are now soaking wet. Um, so, my Yizzy Go folding camping chair in this sheltered little area here is actually going to get a little bit of use and my mum's got a chair as well which is a little bit of a high back. Uh, good idea bringing these chairs? Brilliant idea. Absolutely brilliant. And it's beautiful to see this like this. And Buster just jumped up on my lap. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was a good idea to bring these chairs. We sit out here because we've had a really baking hot day. And um, now the rain's come. It's, uh, it feels a lot fresher. Buster's going to try and get in without getting wet. <laughs> 